Yobi, the pride of the Sahel, the fastest growing state in Nigeria. The Yobi's rural landscapes are the swathes of its rich agricultural endowments. The arid north is swamped by the river Yobi, where the populace engaged in the cultivation of wheat, sesame, rice and vegetables. And the mountainous south, with its arable land, supports wheat season farming beans, sorghum, millet, and gomarabi gamangadas are produced in commercial quantities. In addition, Yobi is the country's third largest home of livestock, herds of cattle, sheep and goats, with Potoskun cattle market taking a pride of a place as the largest cattle market in West Africa. The Governor Buni administration dreams big in the development of Yobi state and it has taken up since the May Malabuni's administration came on board 2019. The governor May Malabuni-led administration's achievement in the economy has meant a better standard of living for the people of Yobe State. He ran with the philosophy, we will make Yobe State great. We track Governor May Malabuni's campaign promises in the ICT sector using the roadmap to accelerated development in Yobe State 2019 to 2023. Yobe citizens have appreciated Governor May Malabuni's impressive and excellent projects within the three years of his administration. Governor Buni's excellent projects within the three years are as follows. Northern Nigeria's second cargo airport in Damatru. Three thousand six hundred housing units across the state. One hundred and thirty eight health care centers across the state.
Nigeria's biggest maternal complex in Dematru. A free drugs program for less privilege across the state. Primary health care centers upgraded to general hospitals. Eighty tricycle ambulances for rural primary health care centers. Bengida, Kedem, Portuskum, Geshwa, Guru, Damagum, Galda, Ingel, Denchua, Balangwa, Chumbusko, Tagali, and Malumpotari. Yobe flour mills, polythene and woven sack industry, Sahel Aluminium and Gujuba Fertilizer Company. Nigeria's biggest truck transit park in Potoskum. Fifty tractors purchased and subsidized. First electricity in Shekau, Chuakusko, Gergakoriad, Susumma, Wachakal, Mirwa, Yendogu, Jamtari, Garimala Madamu, and Gulani Local Government, and reconnected Bunyadi, Gujuba, Katarko, Dumsei, and Kaseisa to the national grid.
233 youth studying in India. Twenty mass transit buses. Two hundred and fifty youths employed as Yarota marshals. Thirty eight vehicles and bikes for Yarota. Cash grant to PT traders. 40 million loan to GSM vendors with 60% discount. 40 million loan to Mgwari with 60%. Massive support of food and non-food items to thousands of vulnerable and victims of disasters across the state. When His Excellency Governor Malabuni came on board in May 2019, the mandate given to the Emergency Management Agency is to reposition the agency's approach to disaster management and humanitarian response during crisis, decrease the time of response, and ensure that victims of disaster, IDPs, and persons of concern receive first line of support from government within the first 24 hours of any crisis, disaster, or emergency need. In line with this mandate, we have revolutionized SEMA. SEMA has become more technical in, uh, in approach. SEMA has become more, uh, sp has increased speed of response. And along the way, the response to the flights of the vulnerable, the IDPs, and other persons of concern has been achieved by ensuring that government support reaches them in time assessment is conducted, bottom-top approach, and partners and humanitarian agencies across the states were all coordinated to ensure that there's no duplication and they have keyed into the priorities of government. Going into the second term of His Excellency, we expect more robust approach to the flights of the displaced persons. We, res we, we expect more reposition and people-oriented SEMA, and we expect to see a SEMA that will become a role model not only for Northeastern states but also for the country at large. 600 youth trained on paint production. Provision of solar street lights to Dematru. Toyota Hilux to police of Habermaza.
Yubi State Secretariat has been reconstructed and republished. Ministry of Women Affairs has been reconstructed and republished. 240 midwives employed. 400 science teachers employed. 1,000 youth trained on interlock production. International schools for IDPs in Bunigari. Upgrading of Modu Mustafa Primary School to more than one. New molecular laboratories in Geshu and Dematru. New diagnostic centers across the state. New blind workshops. A brand new automobile engineering workshop in Potoskum. New pediatric center at TH Dematru. New lecture theaters at TH Dematru. New quarters to house offices at TH. 200 trained as enumerators small scale. Tax force on tackling on water problem. Kumaganum Hospital has been expanded. Allowances of nurses students have been increased by 100%. And many more. And uh, we are, inshallah, determined to do more to ensure that we deliver upon our promise. With this achievement, the citizens of Yobe State have confidence and trust in Honorable Mai Malabuni. He is the most supporting governor we ever had in Yobe State. If you could remember, Honorable Mai Malabuni, based on his wealth of experience, was appointed the chairman caretaker committee of APC. And for the period, he was able to revive and reorganize the party structure uh, to, stable, to a stable and formidable party in Nigeria. APC today cannot write an history without the support, uh, sub Superman, a true working legend of our time. In a nutshell, if His Excellency Honorable Mwai Malabuni uh, can achieve all these world-class projects in just three years, he deserves a second term because he has, pro, uh, he has promised and delivered all promises, including rural development in just three years. Imagine in eight years. Let's all support the action governor in his second term, uh, second term beat for continuity in his transformation agenda. Kuma mu mata son yobe za mu kara tashi mu kara goya mishi baya in Allah yadda mu kara zaben sa ya dawo a karo na biyu abin da mai girma gwamna yayi a jarobi abin a zo a yaba ne yasa mu mata son jarobi muka doki a niyyan karar zaben sa a karo na biyu dan yazo ya kasar da aikin da ya fara sama da shekara 70 ban mu da wuta a garga sai a wannan karo mun ji dadi kowa da kowa ya gode masa it is no longer a news that in the last 3 years of the administration of governor mai malabu ne a lot has been achieved the governor has proven to be a leader with inspirational motivation, transformational qualities and leadership commitment in doing everything humanly possible to mobilize and organize Yobe State, the people of Yobe State to translate the terminations of good governance into formidable forces in improving the living standard of his people. In the last three years of his administration, we have seen massive construction of road, housing units, provision of jobs to young people, construction of schools, construction of modern market, revitalization of Yobe industries which have been dormant for years. In fact, a lot has been achieved under his watch. The people of Yobe State are very happy with his administration. He has done a lot, especially in ensuring he has improved the living standard of the people of Yobe State. With this, the people of Yobe State will forever remain grateful and supportive to the administration of Governor Mema Laboni. He has proved himself to be worthy of our votes and support. Don't be distracted, let's do it together. Your best state will continue to grow in the speed of light under the administration of Governor Mwai Malabudi, the digital government. Thank you.